This is Susan Bradley for CSO Online. Today I'm going to talk about attack surface reduction rules. Windows 10 has built-in attack surface reduction rules, or ASR, as part of Windows Defender Exploit Guard. These settings block certain processes and executable occurring and prevents attackers from having successful attacks. You can use ASR features in the following platforms. Windows 10 Pro 1709, Windows 10 Enterprise 1709, Windows Server, and Windows Server 2019. Now keep in mind, if you have Windows 10 Pro, you'll have less of the features. You won't have quite the same logging that you do with an E5 Enterprise. But you can still participate in the fun and make sure you make it harder for attackers. Recently on Twitter, one of the um, Microsoft engineers who works with the Advanced Threat Protection talked about a, a post in their threat section that talked about uh, Zloader. Now, if you have a Microsoft Defender for Endpoint License, it used to be the uh, Microsoft Defender ATP, or an E5, you can actually look at this write-up. Now, keep in mind that you do not have to have an E5 license for everyone in your environment in order to see this information. All it takes is one single E5 license, and you can get into the Microsoft Defender Security Center and see these write-ups. And I really like them because they give me a lot of mitigation and, and defense techniques. For example, in this write-up, they talk particularly about attack surface reduction rules, and one in particular, block all office applications from creating child processes. Now, there's a couple of way that, ways that you can set these rules up. You can use group policy, you can use Intune, you can use registry keys, and you can also use PowerShell. Now, especially if you're just trying them out, just to see what they have the impact in your environment, you might want to try PowerShell or Better yet, there's a graphical user interface that you can click on and download to your system out of, from GitHub that gives you a graphical user interface to setting up the rules. You go to GitHub, you click on the GUI, you download the file, and you run it on your system. Once you launch it, you can then easily check the different ASR rules that you want to enforce. Now, I recommend that you start by auditing them for at least 30 days, and Microsoft recommends this too. So turn on auditing for 30 days and see what impact it has in your environment. Click on Save Changes, and it will actually save that on your system. If you find that it's not doing any impact to your processes, you can come back later and click on Enabled. Once again, Save Changes, and now it's enabled on your system. You want to look for Event 1122 in your event logs under Applications and Services, then Microsoft, then Windows, then Security Mitigations. Again, it's under Applications and Services log, then Microsoft, then Windows, and then it's all the way down under Security Mitigations, all the way down here. And then it's also under kernel mode. And what you want to do is look for any 1122 event logs and see what's going on in your systems. And again, see if there's anything that will impact your day-to-day -day environments. See if you can turn it on. The one in particular that I recommend that you try to do, if you can, is that first one. Block all office applications from creating child processes. That in particular will help defend from a lot of phishing attacks. You may not be able to do some of the other ones, but try to see if you can do that one, especially in your high risky environments. You know, people that are going to be attacked, people that are going to be targeted, people that have um, fallen for phishing attacks already. So you want to review that. And again, check your attack surface reduction rules. Even if you do not have an E5 license, this one setting right here can go a long way. You don't need to have an E5. You can just do it with a Windows 10 Pro. So see what happens in your systems, see if you can do a better job of protecting your workstations. Now one thing to keep in mind that if you use third-party antivirus, you will not be able to use ASR rules as it only works when Defender is the functioning antivirus. You may wish to determine if your current antivirus and protection platforms provide enough protections with similar features to the ASR rules. Too often businesses pick antivirus solutions due to licensing and contractual arrangements. 
So you may want to step back from the current arrangements you have, revisit your deployments, and determine if Defender and Defender with ATP provides a better solution for you long term. Until next time, this is Susan Bradley for CSO Online. Be safe, be secure.